The soldiers and Marines of Task Force Falcon are busy setting up checkpoints and conducting presence patrols in the Yugoslavian province of Kosovo. They are starting a process that when finished will allow both ethnic Kosovar Albanians and Serbs to live together in relative peace. But the process of bringing peace to the war-torn region will not be an easy job. During his visit with U.S. troops in Skopje, Macedonia, President Clinton told the assembled group of U.S. service members that he and the world are proud of them and the job they are doing, and that it is of extreme importance. If somebody comes after innocent civilians and tries to kill them in mass because of their race, their ethnic background, or their religion, and it's within our power to stop it, we will stop it. And by the way, look at Central Europe. These people can live together and prosper together. That's what we're trying to do. It may mean that Americans will never have to fight again in a big land war. After meeting and listening to the president, Second Lieutenant Luis Veneziano thought that it was important for the president to come and talk with the soldiers who were on their way into Kosovo. We're not here for no reason. We're here to, to protect people. And that's what, the, that's what the military stands for. Speaking without any prepared script or notes, Clinton told the soldiers that the hard work begins now and that the job of implementing the peace accords will not be without risks. For the soldiers of the 1st Infantry Division, who are now starting their push into Kosovo, know the job of implementing the Kosovo peace plan will be tough. The president urged them to be proud of the job that they are doing. I hope to the day you die, you will be proud of being a part of a nation and a democratic alliance that believes that people should not be killed, uprooted, or destroyed because of their race, their ethnic background, or the way they worship God. I am proud of it, and I hope you are. Congratulations. Reporting from Skopje, Macedonia, Tony Sweeney, USER News.